Hello, uh, my name is Christine Wagley, and this video is for um, CIT 336, the Enhancement 1 assignment. And um, so I'm starting here uh, showing my net beans, and I'm a little unfamiliar working with a template, so I wasn't exactly sure um, what all to do. But here I have my PHP tags um, that I have created. And because I was more familiar with doing it this way, I went ahead and created separate section files. Uh, this is the only way I've worked with PHP before. And so this is uh, how I went ahead. And so in my home is the main part of my code. It's uh, yeah, like a lot of the images, the 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 rocket, the um, recipes, and everything, and I've put those into a table to help me design it a little easier in CSS. And then I also have um, my header tag that has like the the site logo and stuff on it, and the head tag has my meta information in it. And then I have the footer, uh, which is just basically the footer, and all of those are pulled into the template here. Um, and so if I run this, I'm going to go ahead and pull this over from my other screen. Uh, this is what I came up with after um, attempting to make it look as close as possible to the assignment um, example that we were given. And so, a little bit more. Um, from here, uh, to check responsiveness, I, I'll go into my developer tools, and uh, we can see that the view, um, the responsive view, does show the changes of uh, pulling everything down into a column rather than going across um, when it was in the original view. And it also has the uh, <clears throat> everything just kind of pulled in, and it's still you're still able to read it. Um, and so, if I go into validate, um, the HTML comes back with no errors, uh, and it shows you know, everything is pulled in through the tags, and so it's in here. Um, I did have a little issue when I use this to validate my CSS. For some reason, it pulls this parse error, and though I looked online and tried to figure out exactly what was wrong, I couldn't. So I decided to um, use direct input to try to validate it, and I'll just move this over. So if I go into my style folder, and I just copy everything, and then I paste it directly in and check it, um, it comes back with no errors. So I'm not really sure why, when I use my uh, tools up here that it, it brought back the errors in the CSS. Um, but other than that, I'm going to take a quick look at my code again, um, just to kind of show the I didn't really go over the style much. Um, I haven't done a lot. Uh, I did basically the minimum that I could do to try to get it to look as close as I could to the example. Um, and so I did watch the video uh, that was put up by our instructor, and uh, this is where I've added in the responsive uh, for the uh, navigation menu. And I used some of that uh, just to kind of give me an idea of where else I can use it on the page. Um, but for now, it's it's all pretty simple. Um, 
a lot of things. This is for uh, where the recipes and the reviews are together, um, the logo, the main body, and uh, where I've styled my table that I created uh, with the, the recipe information. <clears throat> And that is pretty much all that I have for this assignment. I hope that it uh, at least comes close to meeting the expectations. Uh, I did have a, quite a, a hard time getting this done, but I, I tried really hard and I did the best that I could. Um, so I appreciate the opportunity and uh, thank you.